Welcome to a, a historic day for Florida Gateway College. We're bringing back automotive technology to this campus. It's been gone for many, many years. It was housed in another facility on campus. This one has been repurposed. And I want to tell you a little bit about the story. Um, I was president of the chamber last year, and part of being president-elect, you have to go to a lot of functions. So I was invited to go to Roundtree Moore Toyota. They were having a mixer. And when the then general manager found out I was there, he, he sought me out. And he says, I need technicians bad. And he called John Gappy from Southeast Toyota, who was also at this, at this mixer, and says, we need technicians bad. And so I went to Dr. Barrett because when Dr. Barrett got here four years ago, he actually did a study on what it would take to bring automotive to our campus. And I went to him and he said, you know what, let's bring the dealers together. Let's bring the Automobile Dealers Association together, the Morgan Auto Group people, Southeast Toyota. Let's have a, an automotive summit and see what it would take to make something like this happen. So we got together. We, we met, everybody talked about what their challenges were, about how it's not, not a glamorous career and, and how you can really make a lot of money at it. Uh, what our challenges were gonna be, including what it would cost to get it put back together here on campus. And we applied for a grant. We didn't get the grant. Dr. Barrett said, we're gonna do it anyway. And so we reached out to some folks in the industry and here we are today, and under the leadership of Dr. Barrett, this is a reality today. And I don't think we could have pulled this off without Dr. Barrett's leadership here at Florida Gateway College. So thank you. I know when we first, we first came in here and looked at this facility, it, it wasn't really something to be proud of, but I think today, as you can see, it's something we can all be proud of. Um, we're gonna start, we're gonna change the, the way we're doing things a little bit because we have some speakers who are in route. I'm gonna start with introducing Lee Pinchock, our executive director of the foundation, who is going to have some remarks and also introduce some special guests we have here to speak to you about how this is gonna be one of the most successful programs in the state. Lee? Thank you, Mike. Thank you, Mike. Welcome, everybody. As Mike mentioned, this really is a story of perseverance, community, and collaboration. And as Mike mentioned, when we, didn't, when we applied for this grant from the state of Florida and the governor's office, it was truly one of the most well-written grants our office had ever written. And Dr. Barrett gives, gives our grant writer a lot of credit for that. And at the end of the day, it just still didn't come through. There were other projects that the state of Florida felt were more important than this one at the time. So we were building the relationship. Morgan Auto Group came in and they were, this was about two years ago as Mike mentioned, and they were just starting to get their feet wet in Columbia County and Lake City. So we started building that relationship through Mike's initial visit with them and the former general manager of Toyota. And we finally got to the point where we said, how can we get the Morgan Auto Group and specifically Larry Morgan here on campus to share with us, share with him our vision, Dr. Barrett's vision for the future of this program. So Mr. Morgan finally came, and we finally got him up here. And for those of you who know him, and for, those, and for those of you who also don't, he's a quiet man, and he doesn't say very much. And we talked to him, and we told him our vision, and he listened. And it's one of the best things you can do as a successful business person, as a fundraiser, as somebody trying to raise money for the college, is just listen and listen to the needs of what your customer need, is wanting. So we toured the facility, and he told us, as he left, he said, let me think about this, I'll get back with you in two weeks. We felt pretty good about that. That wasn't bad. We thought we had an opportunity to build a partnership. So two weeks passed, and to his word, he gave us, gave us a call. And it wasn't just Dr. Barrett, Lee, Mike, he didn't just say, we're going to help, we're going to do this program. He had already had gotten with his team, and specifically Joe Schluter, who's with us here today as well, who's a major part of this renovation for us. 
and they had outlined an entire plan on how they were going to help this college repurpose this facility to what you see today. And that plan was, we're going to get you to the Florida Automotive Dealers Association and see how they can help. We're going to reach out to all of our vendors, all of the people we do business with that help us build our shops and move forward on how they can help donate equipment and stock this shop with all the wonderful equipment and lifts you see with you today. And they got to work. They absolutely got to work on our behalf and we assisted, we helped. Um, I want to personally also thank Dr. Barrett and John Jewett who helped us with this program. You know, you've got three guys here, and Mike included four of us, who really don't know how to put together an auto shop. So we relied on their expertise as much as we could to help us out. And I think we did pretty good. Thank you. But it is extremely, extremely important that we recognize those vendors, those donors to this program who donated a majority of the equipment you see in front of you today. The college really, from a financial standpoint, has a minimal investment cash-wise in this, in this facility. A majority of this came from the donors and we cannot thank them enough. So specifically, there are about 15 companies that really stepped to bat and came through for us. I just want to mention them here today. We may we'll do the applause at the end so we don't get bogged down for each one. But Southeast Toyota Distributors were the first ones to step up. I know Mike personally traveled to Jacksonville and picked up some of the equipment for us. Dill Air Controls, Dealer General Supply Company, Deluxe Systems, Industrial Washer Services, ProCut International, John Dow Industries, Tropic Oil, CPS Automotive, Hunter Engineering, Samson Corporation, also, Joe Schluter personally made contributions of some equipment. And, and two companies that, they're the ones that you really can visualize and see the work that they did. And what's really important about these two companies, and they're the last but not least, Certified Hydraulics and Automotive Development Group. We really owe a lot to them because these are actually two competitors who do the same thing. But they came together in a collaborative effort to put this together. So Automotive Development Group came in and said, they said, we'll, we'll find all of this equipment, and Certified Hydraulics installed all of it for us. And again, all of that was donated. It was donated work, donated equipment through our foundation that then we could donate to the college to get this program off the ground. So please, please join me in giving them a warm round of applause. Like anything else, if you want success, it's going to take time and it's going to take hard work. And like I mentioned at the beginning, this was just a story of perseverance, community, and collaboration, and we are just honored to be a part of it. So thank you again for coming today, and thank you again to all the donors who have stepped up and donated to us. Um, we've, uh, I will mention one more thing. We did receive our first car donation a couple weeks ago. and. Um, Shameless plug, we, we need some vehicles to work on as well, so we're going to continue working hard on that. If you know someone out there uh, who has a, deal, uh, a vehicle that they may want to donate to the program for us to take apart and put back together, we'll gladly do that. Um, so Sam and Tammy Hall were our very first automotive uh, de donors who donated a vehicle to us, so I want to give them recognition as well. So thank you again for coming today. It's a pleasure to be here. Thank you, Mike. Do you want me to help? Yeah. 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 Okay, another supporter of this program, uh, and he is a friend of mine, a friend of the college. He's been a trustee member for many, many years, and he is now our state representative um, from McClenney, Baker County. I want to introduce our state representative, Mr. Chuck Brannon. Yeah. I apologize. Uh, somebody asked me the other day what the hardest part of being in the legislature was, and I said, it's keeping my cows fed. I'm gone so much. So I was across town picking up a ton of cow feed. So uh, I, I hope security or the deputies don't get me. I parked on the grass and, and ran inside here because I'm pulling the trailer. But, but thank you all for, uh, for being here today. Thank you for our supporters, our donors, uh, all of our partners, and, and what a big group we have here today. Um, 
that just shows that we really we really live in a blessed uh, community. All, all the communities here in this part of the state, uh, we live in the best part of the state, and we know that. We're proud that you're here. Um, this is just probably one more good thing happening here at the college. I've had the, the honor, I guess, uh, what, Mike, about, I think June 1st would have been 17 years that I've served on the Board of Trustees. And, uh, of course, now I wear two hats as, as a member of the legislature. But uh, it's just one more good thing happening. En enrollment is up. Uh, we kind of bucked the trend here at Florida Gateway College. I almost said Lake City Community College because I'm so used to saying that after all these years. But here at Florida Gateway College, we bucked the trend. You know, enrollment at community colleges or state colleges generally goes up during a downturn in, 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 the, in the economy, in, in a, a downtime in economic times. But even here with the last uh, good run we've had here in the last two or three, four years with the economy, uh, our enrollment is still up, and that's exactly opposite. Because, of course, in a downturn, uh, people lose their jobs. They want to go back to college, and they want to go back and get even what we're talking about here today, career uh, and technical training. But uh, enrollment is up. Uh, I don't know what the numbers are, but you know what? If you get a degree from, from Florida Gateway College and uh, you transfer to a state university, our uh, students' GPAs are generally in the top two or three or four. I know last year we were probably in the top three. I don't know what the numbers are this year. But we're not here about that today because everybody doesn't go to a, to a university. And thank goodness this, the state and the legislature and the governor are starting to recognize that. We're here about vocational career and, and technical training. And, and what a, a, a wonderful and beautiful facility here. And the push in, in, in state government, at least now, is to provide jobs where jobs are needed. And uh, certainly uh, automotive technology is an area that we need. We need jobs, and, and good jobs. Uh, there's, there's nothing better, no more honorable thing to do than to, than to be able to have a family and take care of it and have a good paying job. So in a, a vocational and technical program, you can get that type of degree or certificate in a shorter amount of time and certainly for a lot, a lot less money than you can at the university. Not to say it's bad to go to college because we don't want to knock that too and go to one extreme or the other, but they're both important. Uh, so we're glad that uh, the college has uh, uh, been able to take this program on and convert this facility over uh, to what it is. Um, I think this year in the legislature, just to show you how, how the trend is going, I think we approved about $40 million for a uh, job growth grant fund and maybe uh, another $10 million for, for a Florida Pathways to Career Opportunities grant fund. I'll be quiet. It's hot. It's warm in here. Um, I'll close by saying one thing that I always try to do. And uh, brick and mortar and, 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 and equipment and steel is fine, but there's another piece to the puzzle in education, and what's that? And that's our teachers. And we always want to thank our teachers and our staff and our administrators here. You know, uh, the thing that... Uh, that puts it all together, that makes books and teaching manuals come to life and really hum with the words inside of them are our teachers. And we always want to recognize them, our present teachers and future teachers that have come to this program. Uh, I'll close by saying this, the 4th of July is coming up. Uh, we're the luckiest people in the world. We get to call ourselves Americans. But you know what? Better than that, we get to call Florida home. And I'll go one step better than that. We get to call North Florida home. So God bless America. God bless Florida. And especially God bless Florida Gateway College. Thank you. I, thank you, Representative. I wanted to recognize our superintendent of schools, Lex Carswell is here, Lex. And now I'm going to bring Lee Pinchock back as he comes up to do some more remarks. I'll be extremely brief. All I want to do at this point is welcome up to speak the chairman of the Morgan Auto Group, our friend, our wonderful contributor, and for me personally, fellow Missouri Tiger, Larry Morgan. Thank you, Lee. Thank you, Mike. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, all my teammates from the Roundtree Moore organization. Uh, we're really proud to be here today. I tell you, uh, I have a flashback when I walked in this room of what this building looked like back the first time we saw it. And, uh, you know, Larry and two Larrys got together, Lee, and, and you know, we, 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 had, we had vision, uh, and it all turned out great. And there are a lot of people to thank for it. 
Uh, you know, our company, we hope to employ as many of these young people as will have us. And you know, there's a huge opportunity. The, the, the whole nation, right today, the nation has, needs 75,000 automotive technicians. And ladies and gentlemen, they can make a really, really, really good living and work in a, you know, and have all kinds of benefits and work in a great environment and do a good thing for mankind and take care of their families and all the things that were said here previously. So with that being said, we're very appreciative of our vendors. Uh, that We didn't have to twist their arms very hard. I would especially want to thank Joe Sluter who actually put the, the nitty gritty together and, and got all this stuff together. And we can't wait to come back and actually see these young people learning a, a really honorable trade. And uh, we're hoping that we'll be able to play a big part in their employment. And thank you all for being here. And for those of you that are our customers, thank you for that as well. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. I'd like to bring up Randy Houck. Randy's title is Director of Business and Education Initiatives for the Florida Automobile Dealers Association. Randy? Well, I thank you all for being here as well. I tell you, I can't, I almost didn't know I was in the same place after seeing this from the very first time. It had boxes everywhere. That room in there, you couldn't even get in and out of because there was just all kinds of equipment everywhere. But this is a great facility. And I have to tell you, I've been doing this for 20 years. This is the first new facility that I can think of in the past decade. And it may be even longer than that. Uh, the last new facility I was, the dedication I was at was down at Seminole State College. So there, there, it has been a long time since we've seen any new capacity come online. And there aren't too many people on this planet that I would get in my car and drive three and a half hours for on 75 and then drive three and a half hours back, except for the two Larrys. I have immense respect for both of them. Guys, your vision is beautiful and I thank you for it. Thank you, Larry. Okay. okay, we're going to turn it over to the president of Florida Gateway College, who is going to be brief. Uh, Dr. Larry Barrett. So I have a lot of people to thank, so I'll be brief. But um, besides everyone who's been thanked um, today, I want to thank the facility staff of the college that helped immensely pull this together and some of them are with us here today and I know we changed electricity around and lights and all sorts of things so thank you so much for all you've helped us do today so I want to thank you for that and even though I may have had a, the initial vision to this there's a lot of people to thank and as Lee and Mike said um, about three months ago uh, we came to a point that three bureaucrats couldn't pull this off any further and, um, and Randy and Mr. Morgan and, and Joe and everybody helping us. Um, so I do want to acknowledge um, John Jewett, who is the Executive Director of Workforce and Technical Education here. John, you want to just stand for a second? So he's took a lot of my abuse over the last few years. And I also want to thank our new faculty member, um, Steve Adler, who has over 30 plus years of experience as a master um, technician. Um, and he came on board and uh, he worked through the educational process with us and um, I'm so proud to have him here and he's taken us over the hurdle. So Steve, please stand up and I know his wife is here with him today too. And thanks for taking that journey with us. I will be brief and Mr. Morgan stole some of my thunder, but um, in today's uh, national headlines, AutoNation is looking to hire 500 technicians in the United States and are offering all sorts of incentives because they're lacking um, auto technicians. But we want them to go to the Morgan Auto Group, by the way, not auto tech. But um, the average salary for a technician in the United States, the average starting salary is $42,660. Um, As Mr. Morgan said, there's 76,000 current openings, yearly annual openings. In the state of Florida, if you take a look at the Florida Economic Opportunity Digest, Currently, there's 1,294 positions for technicians in the state of Florida. Um, very important. And I am anticipating, based on our market survey, there's over 100 technicians openings between Jacksonville and Gainesville and an assortment of dealerships and other districts. So more than that, probably even, according to Randy. So this is well needed for the community. 
you know, for um, the past year or two, um, Representative Brandon, Trustee Brandon, mentioned um, technical education has gotten a, re um, a renewed emphasis in the state of Florida and the nation. And I will just say, this is not a political thing, we've neglected it for 30 years. We've neglected it and we've not done it. We're a comprehensive state college, community college, you want to call us that. We offer things in general liberal arts to technical education and we offer a lot of those technical education programs and we're committed to doing that. But it's not going to take overnight to um, build technical education. It's going to need everyone. It's going to need the Morgans of the world, the Joe Schulers of the world, Larry Barrett's of the world, and everyone just to proclaim that technical education needs to be supported. So after neglect for 30 years, it just can't happen overnight. But it's the perfect storm here at Lake City. We've done it together. We've put together what I would call a great package, a great curriculum that's been reviewed, um, great equipment that we have from partners um, throughout the state. Um, we have the talent. We have Mr. Adler and we have um, Mr. Jewett to help us um, guide us in the way. And we have some vision and we have support. And I think we're going to have a very, we're going to have not just the good um, automotive technician program, we're going to have the best, we're going to surpass Seminole State. Um, and it's, I shouldn't go on record to say that. And I, I think, you know, we have the perfect opportunity and people think rural is, is a negative, rural is a positive. We have our dorms which we reopen, we have people from across the state of Florida that can come and be in our dorms and, um, and take this program. So thank you, thank you so much. It's been a long time coming and I can't wait to, oh by the way, I want to say, could the two students, we have two students with us today, and that's all about students. That's why we're here. We're here to help students. I know we have two prospective students that are starting in August. I met earlier today. Could you please stand, the two students? And if there's more students, please let me in. And thank you so much for considering Florida Gateway College. And we're looking forward to you working in our communities. And at that, I would like to, are we going to turn it back over to Mike? So thank you so much. Three. Hey, there we go.